Okay. Uh, now we're going to do just a quick program. So I'm going to click New File. And I want to do Motor and Sensor Setup first. Now in Virtual Worlds, if you use the Clawbot, it tells you port 1 is the left motor. And so I'm going to name it left motor, and I'm going to use motor 393. And that motor is reversed. So what that means is if you think of a motor facing one direction and it's turning, if you flip that motor over, it'll then be turning in an opposite direction. So because of the way the motors are positioned on this robot, in order for one of the motors to go forward, it would need to be reversed. You can do that without naming it or without clicking this in the motor assessor setup by putting the power to the motor as negative. In other words, one could be 127 as full power and the other one could be negative 127 as full power in the other direction. And that would get you moving forward or backward. Uh, but if you do this in motor and sensor setup, you'll save yourself a headache of uh, having to remember which one goes uh, forward, which one goes backward, and everything like that. Now it also says that our uh, right motor is in port 10, and again I'll choose a 393 for that. Now it's not reversed, so I'll leave that alone. Uh, don't worry about the encoder port, PID control, or driver mode side, and then let's just click OK on that. So now we see at the top we have our left motor and right motor set up, and so down here, under task main, I just want to say start motor, and then I'm going to say right. Okay, now you'll notice there's a little, uh, these things that come up automatically, like ports, they come up automatically. If you want what you named it to come up automatically, then you need to click compile program. So if I click compile program right now, I'll save it. It doesn't matter what you save it as. I'll just save it as source file 8. Now that I've compiled it, you'll see when I type, when I start typing, when I say start motor, and then I go like this, look at that, left motor appears right there. And I could just push enter. I'll say start left motor, comma, 127, which is full speed. And then start motor, right motor, 127, which is full speed. And then I'm going to stop, well, then I need to wait because I need to have them run the motors for us a little bit. So I'm going to say I'll wait for three seconds, and then I'll say stop motor, left motor, and I'll say stop motor, right motor, and that's it. There's my program. So then I'll download the robot. And it'll take me to my virtual world. Remember, if you get this page, you go to log in locally and then log in as guest. Make sure that the robot you're using is the Clawbot. And then I'll go under movement and click driving a straight line. Start activity. And I should go forward for three seconds. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Oh, doesn't look like I went far enough. So I can go back to my program. And I can change that to say four seconds. I'm going to say download the robot again. And then when I get back to my virtual world, I'll probably need to click uh, to reset. Yep, I need to reset to take my robot back to the beginning. I'll click play and it should go for four seconds this time. And success. All right. So that's basically how you do a very, very simple program. Uh, if you get that done, then uh, you can move on to the next thing in the next video, uh, which is right below this one.